Hello and welcome back to my hot stream. Hot streaming survive the nights. How many nights will you survive? Good question. This is in unlisted early access. You can't get this. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. You'd have to look into it. But yeah, it's pretty deep. Pre-alpha version of Survive the Nights. Work in progress. Game features and mechanics are limited, and you may also encounter game-breaking it bugs, yes. As a result, these pre-alpha builds should not be viewed as an accurate representation. Of course not. I'm not going in here. I'm not... By no means am I going in here to slam the game. Our goal is to have all features from our concept videos implemented. So, if you haven't checked out their their videos, they've got a lot of great concept videos. Um, working when we reach a full fully listed early access alpha release. Yes, we're testing. That's what we're doing. Thank you very much. Press spacebar. Options are on high. I'm not sure why. Um, I could probably afford to go down to medium. We'll keep them on high. There will be some little latency. We've jumped into it previously on the Twitch to check it out to see how it goes. It seems alright. There are some, yeah, lag spikes you'll see. Controls, etc. Key bindings. Uh, this is a good point. What are the key bindings? Oh, you have to wait. Press and hold Alt as the game launches. Ugh. Okay. That's again. They've still haven't. They've got yeah limitations with the Unity input manager. Times team size restriction. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I've I've been playing with these sort of games. Okay. No news. Get into it. Let's play. Uh, there are a couple servers. I am EU side. I'm going to jump on the other EU server this time. Play here. We'll see how the game goes. Tip, press W to walk forward. You need to put uh, tip, press I, O, or P to open up your inventory or player stats or whatever, anything. That's a that's something that could be really easily fixed. C for crouch. Tabs for server information. A lot of things like that would be great here. But again, they haven't had a lot of time to put little things in. Oh, oh, that was a little spike. Loading oceans and rivers. This is pretty massive. There is a map on their website, so you can see what they got going on. Most zombies killed, most knights survived. Oh, wow. Okay, it's pretty enough. Top players last night. So somebody was playing last night, cool. Again, it's just testers, so I don't expect to ever see anybody playing. And I did get the copy from the publisher developer, so keep that in mind. This is a First impressions review. Oh, oh, I don't like don't like that shadow. In terms of what else you can do, it's not one of your Minecraft punch and, and punch a tree, get some wood. You definitely need to go around. I think you can hold down E. You'll see information. It'll tell you if you can pick something up or not. As with all survival zombie games. We need to find resources as fast as possible. And since I can't get anything from these, I don't think I can get... Yeah, nothing. Without a hatchet, I need to find a hatchet or craft one. Let me show you really quickly the inventory. There's not much here. It's it's quite good, though, in terms of stats. we got health, calories, hydration, stamina, body temperature. we got all that goodness that you expect from survival games. I'm not sure how to craft. It says here, how to craft. Add and remove items to the recipe, selecting add and minus. Again, we don't have any recipes. Tools don't have to be added to the recipe, they just need to be in your inventory. You search feature to find recipes and such. Campfire, we need to do a lot of things. We've got a wind-up light and a water bottle that's empty at the moment. As you can see. Find water, make fire, boil water, find food, cook food. Ah, oh, there's a fill right here, so we can't fill... We have to fill in the inventory. That's it, really, to see. I can go down there and maybe grab some water. Oh, or maybe not, right? What if I don't want to break my legs? We're assuming we can break our legs in this build. I can go right over here. No zombies to be seen. 
when I was checking out the game, I did go into a farm and yeah, I had to punch some zombies down. And that was that. They weren't impossible in the daylight. Maybe at night, maybe they'll do what Seven Days to Die does and make them run. Let's go check out the water. Let's see if we have swimming. Or do we just walk into the water? Oh, okay, that's pretty. Um. Okay. So, what can I tell you? Uh, there is no... <laughs> there is no swimming. They just walk underwater and get blinded. Uh, Phil? It can hold the sink. Hello. This cannot be filled right now. Okay. How about I go underwater? <laughs> and... Nope. Nope. I did notice that it was not in either of my hands. I can't equip it. Uh, I can show you what I can do. Wind up light and unarmed. That's it. So, maybe I cannot refill it. Am I loading a window? I am loading a window. Nope. 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 No thank you. Not going to do that. So, we have equip. I just have use. I can drop it and that's it. I can't fill it. So, that's unfortunate. Can't do anything with that. I'm not going to go underwater to fill it, am I? No. Okay, so that's that. Pretty cool water effect, but it's completely blinding. And unrealistic. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Since this is just me testing, we're not going to be testing too long. I just want to see how the game runs. It should be at the moment just a, a giant environmental simulator with... See how pretty that is? It's, it's pretty. I like the sun off that. But we're going to die if we don't get help. Fuel, etc, etc. So we're going to run over here. Get on the road. Ouch. And see if we can find civilization. God help me on the billboard back there. That's pretty cool. There is shift to run. I'm using it now. Crouch. We'll probably end up using it. Like that. Crouch. Control. Standard. Or C. But it's getting dark. And I don't know what the zombies are going to be like. I don't know if they just come out of the woodwork and just mess you up. That'll be worth checking out, right? Other than that, there's not really much else to say or see. I should have run out of stamina by now. How much do I have infinite stamina? What's going on? Let's get up on a rise, see if we can spot a building or something a little bit more interesting. If I can find some hay, like I found a haystack, that, yes, that can give you tindling or kindling. And then we just have to find some flint and steel or something. I didn't, I wasn't able to pick up anything off the ground. Hey! Wind up light! Oh! Okay. Hello. Wind up light's not doing anything. I can use it as a weapon, I've noticed. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I'm winding it up. Thank you. Hold down right mouse button. Get out of there. Hold down right mouse, bu right mouse button to wind it up. Okay. And. Where's my light? Oh my god. Uh, yep, he's coming at me. Oh, this is this is the worst. Uh, no. Well, I can see him, but... Oh, there's another one. Yeah, this is game over. Yes, this is the stress test building. KOS prevention mechanics aren't... Okay. Uh, respawn. I heard the respawn's really bad as well. Obviously, it's not in yet. Well, that is Survival of the Nights. We saw some zombies in the dark. Uh, it's probably best you see them in the dark right now. The models are not very good. It's not terribly exciting. They do have a pretty poor movement. Um, hey, at least now we have some stars. But yes, I don't see any way to survive the nights if I can't find resources. Like, I can't chop down trees. I don't have a, a starting hatchet or anything. You start just with that wind-up. 
that thing. Let's try to wind this up. I, I, I thought I was winding up quite a long time here, but it didn't seem to have an effect. No. See the giant factory off there in the distance. Zombies did come out at night, but they're probably inside that building, so they swarmed out. Just gonna wind. Can I run and wind? Looks like it, yeah. So there is some shading there. I tried E, I tried the usual buttons that you would think to turn on the flashlight. It did not work. Uh oh. Get out of here. Okay, this one's a bit more interesting than a zombie because it's a skeleton. Are you dead? You are dead. Hello. Hello, old chum. Look at me. Uh, this shadow needs... Yeah, we need work. How you doing? I was actually crouched that time. Okay, we survived it. We survived the night. We're done. I still want to use this as not as a weapon. Hmm. And I do not know if there is a hotkey to turn on the light. I didn't see one. Again, the game's still rudimentary. Don't have a map yet. Gotta find a map in shops and bus shelters. Okay, that's cool. Happy with that. Give me a reason to go find stuff. So far, all I think, the only thing I've found is crouch and obviously the, the other buttons that we need for the inventory. Yes, I don't want that. That's the chat. Because again, this is meant to be multiplayer, eventually. Oh! F is for the condition! It's 100%! Very nice! But how do I turn you on? No! That's not what I want. So yeah. Doesn't seem to be a way to turn it on. Yeah. This might be it. This might be the end of this epic journey. Yeah, I see no other reason. Oh. Hold on. Zombie. So there is a rudimentary stealth system. I guess. Can't really tell. <laughs> right now I'm just gonna move around this way. Still see the factory off in the distance there. We're meant to find food. Start a fire, etc. But I can't pick up any rocks off the ground. Let's have a look. There's something here. Now I'm just currently looking at terrain. Nope, nothing. No ability to check anything out or even use this as anything other than a weapon. Okay. So yeah, there is an F button for searching, but I didn't know you could just search search anywhere. Nice. So I can just search at any point in any place. Search around. Not that it's gonna help me out here. Normally if you find an item you can it'll pop up information and it'll tell you, yes, you can search around for something. No items found nearby. So that was what the F button was doing before, showing us the wind up light condition 100%. Great. Maybe I just hold down the F button and wander around in the forest until zombie. Oh, there we go, Zay! What? 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 We got it to work. I don't know how. I just held down the F for long enough. Okay, it's on. Improvement. We're still going aimlessly in, in no direction in particular. Night comes really fast, by the way. This is something you can change in Seven Days to Die. You can change... Hello, model. Oh, she's, she completely spinned around. Oh. 
she's not particularly good, but it looks like she can just hit me regardless of the way she's facing, so. Yes. Right. I'm pretty sure I've showed everything I possibly can at the moment. Let's jump to another server so we can see it during the, the day. Maybe that'd be nice. Get through the loading. Because really the the night's not helping us any here. Let's quit to the server. And then I'll check out, see if we can show off a little bit more of the day. Maybe we'll load in the same spot or somewhere near the farm. And I can at least show you a few more little little things that I found. It's very similar again, if you've played Seven Days to Die, that first experience is special, isn't it? You're really not sure what to do. But at least they got some sort of tutorial up. They need this is what they need to put up here. It's just too early. Way too early. Surprised I got a key, to be honest. Because it would No! It's it's shared. Oh well. Ah, uh, you can see a town. We'll run to the town. We'll have a look. Hopefully I don't break my legs because I can't really see. Let's get the wind up light going. <laughs> Can we see that we're winding it? Yes. Yeah, the the fight system is needing some some love cuz that you just don't know if you're going to hit something. It's floaty. I mean, it's it's I'm guessing it's just basic unity whatever unity's got going on. Um what light condition's good? Let's hold it down see if we can get it to go on. Last time I just held it on. No, no, no. I don't know how I got it to work last time. I just held down the F and eventually it came on. There we go. So maybe it needs some time. And then it'll pop on. Uh, we're going to get daylight soon, anyways. Crouching. Oh, no! <laughs> I love it. You, what? I just got one shot. Uh, I think I was on one health from when I... So you do have persistence, by the way. You have persistence on these servers. Uh, that guy was on one health when I, I last logged out because I managed to kill two zombies. At night, they look stronger, look harder. I punched down a couple zombies when I was testing the game earlier, so... Wow. Yeah. I'm glad I kept off from playing the game early on, but still, I still need to wait another six months. It's it's a beautiful environmental simulator right now, though. This is great. I like that. That's probably one of the downsides to Some Days to Die. It's that it doesn't have as much... Uh-oh. Move away from that zombie sound. It's not as pretty as this. Okay, daytime. Um, can I break my leg? I'm guessing I can. I don't really want to test that. I wouldn't mind testing it. Night survived. Matt. Matt84, you've survived one night. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, most zombies killed was Matt. Good. Good job. Yeah, let's get down and check out the town. Should be on 100% health. I haven't actually looked that up. Let's have a look. 95. So, again, very similar. Seven days die. Uh, every time you die, you're going to lose a bit of stamina. A bit of, he a bit of health. Your stats are just going to continue to go down. Okay, let's see if we can get a map. Very first thing. Here's where you, we would get a map. Yep, let's search. Finally, some content. Yes, map. There we go. And this is the map you can get online as well. You can check it out. It's actually quite good. Um, there's now you are here. Check out grids and such. Where am I? Got me down there? No. Not a bad map, though. There's a lot of content here, it looks like. But it would be nice to see... Uh, you're here. Big arrow. Big red arrow or something. 
Okay, got that. Let's keep going. See if we can find some kindling. Oh, we found a zombie. Inside there. Nope, I cannot search in here. Can't search rubbish. Thanks. So this is just some debris. Nothing to search. Can I open these? No. Ouch. There must be a noise system in here. Door! Let me in. Had to jump to get in there. How's this waste? Metal dumpster. E to open and close. That's it. Wait! Dumpster has nothing. Thanks. Looking around for something. Toxic waste. Hey! Eat open and... Oh, we got stuff! Yes! Firewood. Wait, oh. Oh. It's just... It's basically a crafting thing. You can add firewood, coal, and tinder to it. Nope. Nope. We need, we need to find a tool. Make as much noise as possible. Coming soon. <laughs> this feature is coming soon. Okay. Fine. Opening and closing giant metal doors. Oh, there's a zombie in there. Let's skip him. He didn't see us. More zombies in there. See if we can use this to our advantage. Oh, real pissed. Yeah, let's get away from that. Where might I find a hatchet? Where might I find anything? Can I get inside here? Can I jump in? No, you can't crouch into the windows, it looks like. <laughs> uh, fortification is currently disabled in the early access, so building construction probably not in right now. Look inside. At least it runs on my capacity zero for on my PC, so that's a good thing. But I'm guessing at the moment it's still got pretty low requirements. I've got like a 1060 basically. Breaker panel. And I could break I could take some circuit breakers. Take if I wanted to. Don't want to. Let's get some food. Oh, first aid, take. Finally. Finally stuff to get. Ah, oh, finally, finally. We're getting into some actual content that we're familiar with. Let's do this. Oh, wait. Food. Cat food. That's that's good food. Take. We need a quick mouse, like a quick like take all button. This is seamless. This is good. Everything's good. We got no clothes in there. Let's open the door. I hear a zombie, maybe? That's my that's probably my stomach. Need a pop up telling me I need to eat. That'd be good too. More food. The lighting system could be better as well. Hey, there we go, Jaffa Cakes. Wait, is this an English developer? Only English people know about Jaffa Cakes. I didn't actually look. We got water? Radiator? What the heck am I doing with a radiator? I guess, uh, also fits some large machinery if I wanted to later maybe build something. Food, food, food in the kitchen, refrigerator. Looks like we got bugs, like insects. That's cool. Okay, I think I've searched enough. Close, please. It says here capacity is zero six. I'm I'm guessing maybe if you mouse over, you can see if there's anything in something, and then you don't have to mess with it. We'll find out. We'll have a look next time. 
Zero of 18. Nothing yet. Yeah, good. What is this? Foot Locker? Zero of 12? Expect to find some zombies at some point. Punch my way through. Dirty water. So this is this is where hey, what? This is where I can refill my water bottle. I don't want to have dirty water. I don't know what dirty water does to me. Sickness? 80%. Okay. I'm out. No thank you. Uh bathroom sink? Is this clean water? Ah, no, it's just basically a container. Okay, let's get out of here. Is this better than Day Z? That's that is my question. <laughs> How's Day Z doing? Is this not better? Four out of ten. Okay, so you can see. A, hey, I like it. We've got we've got things I don't know what they are. Yes, browser rig, just the rig. Okay. Uh, nine millimeter ammunition. I got forty-five rounds here. Okay, well, we'll take that. Take that. Dirty mug, I don't need you. Lola and Gary Iron? What is this? Pistol! Hey, yes, I'll take that. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes. Reload. Yes, a ammo. Yes. Already fully armed. Okay, good. There's no ammo for this. Okay, so I do have ammo for... <laughs> for the Lola and Gary Iron. Finally, content! It just took forever to get there. What do we got? Start searching. No, 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 no! No, no, wait, wait, cancel! <laughs> Why say, oh, to log out? I was like, I thought to search. No, no, you can actually log out in a bed. Perhaps that's a benefit. There we go, and hatchet. Now we can get some wood. Take radio. Can we use it? With other radio owners. So if you're playing with other players, you can then use that for a long distance conversation, perhaps. What is this? It's fortification, yeah. Okay, we've got a hatchet. Now we can actually start working. Anybody home? Okay, so we, we've, we've managed to figure out that you can have a look and you don't have to open everything because it'll actually tell you before you open it. So that's great. Predictive ability to see what's inside a container. Nothing. Hey, I'll take that. Compass. Oh, yes, maybe that's what we needed to get on the map. Yes, there we go. Now we will be able to see our place on the map. Wrench, what do you do? Uh-huh. Remove and fasten. I'll take that. And watering can. This is for... Probably some sort of farming if it's in the game yet. Coming soon, radiators. So that's just for heating. Use light switches. You can. What? Was there? Did that actually work? Did that actually do something? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Got a gun. Got a hatchet. Get my hatchet. Shete. Radio. Hatchet. Okay, let's start chopping down some trees. There's a tree over there. Let's see. Let's test this out. And there's a zombie around here as well. We'll check the barbecue. Coming soon. Coal barbecue. I could get coal from that. This would be perfect. I need that. Okay. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah. So this is the way it's going to work. You can go around and you can maybe... Okay. Maybe not. Let's just see how this works. There's no progress on it. No. You can only cut so much on one side. Interesting, that's different. You go around the tree, you cut parts of it. What? What? No. 
Sharpen it versus... Oh, God. Where you got? Where you got? Where you at? Where you at? Tool. Tools. 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 Tools should be here. Not. It's not in tools. It's in weapons. Hatchet. Add. Hatchet. Sharpening stone. Workbench. None required, but I need a sharpening stone. This thing's... Not, I've not even been able to chop one tree with my hatchet yet. What? Can I get a sharpening stone somewhere? Dang, this is bad. Again, I could probably fill up water in that. Okay, well, that's it for the hatchet. We weren't even able to get any wood. Dang. That's pretty hardcore. Get my machete back out? Yeah. Go kill some zombies. And loot. Wood stove. Again. Another crafting station, basically. Pop this open. What do we got inside? Nothing. And that's me hungry. Again, there should be a, like a pop-up. Let's have a look at my hunger. Uh, hydration 82 is fine. Daily calories zero. I could probably eat something. Sickness. Let's go eat something. Let's check out how that works. Where is my food? Pineapple. Let's eat the cat food. Eat. What? Oh, no. Like, seven days die didn't have, like, a can opener? Didn't you need a can opener to get... <laughs> Eating the Jaffa Cakes, because they don't require a can opener. What? A, this is hilarious. Current calories, 400. Mmm. Good old calories. Stamina increased by three. Current stamina, good. Got my calories. Some calories. Funny. Let's go check out some more. More calories around. No. Oh. Hey, what's up here? More cans. Take, take. I'm guessing you're going to be able to find a can opener in a kitchen at some point. I'll take those batteries as well. Taking the D. What do we got? Draw knife? This hand hand drawn blade works well to sharp to shape raw logs. I'll need that if I could ever chop down a log. Pliers will need that as well. Let's see. Anything else? Nothing. Again with elect electrics, we're not messing with those. Can't do anything with them. Okay, let's keep searching other houses. Warehouses, etc. Oh, and we also have the compass, so now we know we're here. Zombies are around here as well. We're in Addersfield. Gas station's listed. Maybe we can get a vehicle. Hey, let's kill this guy. Let's try to. Come and get it. Bring it. Oh, he is... Oh. And he's got some range as well. Oh no. More zombies. This is where you want to run when the zombies are after you. A giant dead end. But we might be able to find something. Okay, engine. Operator. Okay, nothing. So I'm thinking you might be able to get a vehicle. Why else would they list a gas station? Might be able to get gas, gas station. Two things in here. Jerry can, yeah, yeah. Anyone knocking? Hello. Okay, so you can only backtrack so, so much. Oh, and those ugly zombies are back. Hey, what are you... Glinting in the metal? That's cool. Looks like somebody tried to survive here. Hey, an arcade cabinet. Cool. Coming f soon. But you can get it to work. Okay. That's... Probably not my priority at the moment. Zombies in the right here. Inside here. I'm not sure I'm, what my health's at at the moment. Oh, it's these ugly... Trying to see what she, see he hit me from way over there. And they can hit you when you're 
completely facing the wrong way. You can't, though. Keep that in mind. If you do manage to get a copy. Their hitbox is crazy. Uh, I've got to find a way around those as well. Yeah, out. Out we go. Cool. Let's get around. There's a bus stop over there. How are we on the map? Can we move in the map? Yes, we can move. Ah, we can see we're the north of town. Are you prepared? Uh, no, I'm not prepared. I need I need more prep work. Can we search for food? Yes, berries. So it's possible to search for berries. Large red colored berries? No. Maybe I need a hatchet. <laughs> the broken hatchet I've got. Let's see. Let's try the hatchet on these. Ah. Flying bush. Let's try the gun out. It's almost over. Once it turns night, it gets over. There's no aim? Yes, there is an aim. Got him. There's, there's headshots. There are. And it worked. You don't really see the damage getting too dark now. I want to test that out, see how it worked. Guns are fine. Reload's good. Get some last minute looting. Hey, take take corn dog. Wait, no, corn corn. There's the dog. And the granola bar, I can eat that. Get in here. Ramen box. Not sure if I can use that just just yet. Beef stew, take that. And a clean bottle of water. Cool. Once the hydration drops, I can use that as well. So you can see they got the basics in here. It's just you have to die a few times to get through that first night. Sheet metal, don't need that. And then you can mess about with exploring. But yeah. Still a long way to go before they're ready to... Uh, there are six. Get this going full time as far as testing is concerned. Not obviously nowhere near beta, i.e., release nowadays. Hey, there's a little car. I've definitely not been in here because I don't remember any little cars. Yeah, that's that's nice. Um, I think I think that's a place to stop. I think I'm gonna log out here to in the in the in the bed. That's great. In the car bed. Because it's going dark and there's just no point. I still got my wind-up light, which I still don't know how it works. There it goes. You just hit right button. Right right mouse button will turn on. But yeah, this is a death trap. I can sit here now and wait. It does look it's, what, 15 minutes maybe for dark nights? So 15 minutes night, 30 minutes for day. That's sort of the, the timing. Much rather prefer Seven Days to Die where you can change that. Maybe you'll, they'll eventually allow that in this game as well. Mod the times so you can have more daytime, less nighttime. It is called Survive the Nights though, so there must be some sort of night base mechanic invasions. Obviously, harder zombies. We've seen that as well. All the kids' stuff. This is all very depressing. Um, but yeah, there must be a gimmick. I know there are traps. Those were shown off in one of the videos they were pretty cool that's probably not in the game yet again concept you can build all the usual things that you'd expect in one of these games NRE thank you yoink that's not bad that's good to see and yeah zombies are way far from ready really like, like most of the game of course pre-alpha don't forget that right I'm gonna leave it there I do this every Saturday. Now I've gone back to Saturdays. I do this at 7 o'clock. That's GMT plus 1 over here in Europe. So do check me out if you're interested. Obviously on Twitch. Go ahead. Follow me. You can give me a sub. I'll take subs. I'm an affiliate. Love it. You can get a little happy little face. Little baby face. 
for the sub as well. I have a Patreon as well if you want to do that. Got some tiers, got some stuff on there. You can check that out as well. Check me out if you're on the YouTubes. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. I got my Discord listed there on that side as well. Twitch is at the top in the left hand corner, I think. Yeah. So you can check that out. That is it for me. You can check out the rest of the content on my channel, my YouTube channel. It's CCG related, these indies as well, and whatever else pops up that I get in my get my hands on and play. Thanks you thank you once more for watching. Thank you very much, Twitch watchers. Really appreciate. Nice to see some different people in here. I need to get these achieves. I need to really use my affiliate stuff. I really want to see how this works. So yeah. Once again, thanks, and I'll catch you next time.